Day 5. We arrived in Tassie at 6.30, unstrapped the bike and rode off the boat. The Tassie part of our tour began with a cold wet day. Our first destination was Stanley to go on the seal cruise that is based out of there. As we cruised along I was amazed to see farmland right up to the beach, just a little way out of a major town. Man those farmers have a great view. After a while we reached Stanley, a nice little sea town. We made our way to the dock where the cruise departs and found that it was shut due to bad weather. So we headed back into town, had breakfast at Moby Dick's breakfast bar. It was very nice. And then we continued on to the next town over, to a bike shop, where we finally found some cold weather gloves for the wife. <laughs> finally. We then decided to head out to Arthur River for a look and check it out a massive wind farm on the way there. In the end we didn't make it to Arthur River as we decided not to ride along a dirt section of road to get there. Big road bikes plus wet dirt roads, I didn't know if that sounded like a good idea so I thought we'd give it a pass. Since the first few things I had planned had fallen through, we decided to backtrack and head down to Queenstown. We rode over mountains, past lakes, and spotted waterfalls caused by all the rain running down the sides of the mountains. It looked great, but man, it was getting cold. We made it into Queenstown and pulled up for the night at the Comfort Inn, $130 for the night. I had a look around town, picked up some dinner, and then retired to the room for the end of the day. Day 6 we headed out into another day of cold and rain over more mountains, only this time we also got to ride through snow. I'd never even seen snow before and now I got to ride through it. It was really interesting. However, after about 30 minutes of it, the novelty had worn off and we were both getting cold and had simply had enough of it. Well, we eventually made it back to civilization and out of the mountains, then made our way to Hobart to check out the Salamanca markets. We walked around the markets in the rain for a bit, then looked for a place to stay the night in the city. As I couldn't find anywhere local at a reasonable price, it appears everything goes up on the weekend, we decided to start heading inland to find something more reasonably priced. We found a good B&B in Ross. The Ross B&B. Only $130 for the night. And we had the place all to ourselves. By the time we'd checked in and unpacked, it was 6pm and everything in town had shut apart from the pub. So we went there for dinner. Day 7. We toured around Ross and checked out the Ross Bridge, which is the third oldest bridge in Australia. It was built in 1836. We then continued up the middle of Tassie, seeing some interesting buildings along the way, including this one coming up on the left. We then continued on into Launceston. We rode through town, then checked into our accommodation for the night, the Nightcap Hotel. $95 a night, the cheapest place we stayed. After that, we just spent the rest of the day looking through shops in town before re retiring for the night. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the next video. Cheers.